Hello, people. Another beautiful day or night. Yeah. <laughs> 12 o'clock, that is. 12, 13, that is. <laughs> Hope your five senses work, health, and strength is good. We're excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, what's good? Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? Steam Deck Squad, what's up? <laughs> and to you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freak, freaks, and you investigators, <laughs> I got I got a new SSD for you guys. Got this little article from Tech Power Ups. Listen to this. Want more storage for your Steam Deck? Two terabyte? Then the add link S9 S91 is for you. It's an M.2 NVMe SSD using the compact M.2230 form factor, which ensures the drive can be used to upgrade the Steam Deck and ROG Ally game consoles. In our in-depth review, we're, we're taking a look at the performance, thermal, and power consumption. Hmm. Yeah, and let me see what they say on the comments. Somebody, let me see, let me see uh, what they say on the comments here. Let me entertain you with the comments. Got two comments here. Somebody said, very impressive. Um, then uh, Dorian said, only 3.2 watts. Max power consumption for two terabyte model? How is that possible? <laughs> well, hey, the less power consumption, the better the performance. <laughs> Listen to this. Says the ad link is fairly young Taiwanese hardware manufacturer found in 2014. They specialize in all products related to flash storage like USB, sticks, SD memory cards, and SSDs. In this review, we are taking a look at the AdLink S91, which is is a high compact M.2 drive in 20, 20 to 30 form factor, which means it's only 30 uh, millimeters uh, long, which is which with such small dimension, it will fit as a storage upgrade for Valve Steam Deck. You may also use the AdLink S91 to expand the storage of the ASUS ROG. Ally game console and various Microsoft Surface Pro device. Of course, the device will also fit into the cases where an M.2 2242 PCIe drive has to be used. While M.2 2230 drive have been on the market for a while, the AdLink S91 is available in a 2 terabyte form factor, which is quite rare for this form factor. Internally, the AdLink uses a Fison E21 controller that we've seen on many other drives before. The NAND, is f the NAND flash is 176 layer QLC from Micron. A DRAM cache strip is not installed due to the limited space available. To connect with the rest of the system, the PCIe Express 4.0 interface is used then it says the Ad Link S91 is available in capacities of 512 gigabytes for 53 bucks, one terabyte for $80, and two terabytes for 190. Endurance for these models is set to 300 watts TBW, 250 TBW, and 450 TBW, respectively. Ad Links include a five-year warranty with the S. 91. Please note that the 512 GB version is built with Clo Lo see, Low Exia, Low Exia BIC S5 TLC Flash, not Micron's QLC, which also explains why that model has a higher endurance. Mm. So the brand is Adelink, model is AD2TB S91M2P. Capacity 200, uh, 2, 2, 2048 GB, 1, uh, 1907 GB usable, no additional over uh, provisioning. Controller Fison PS521 E21 Flash Micron 176 layer, 3D QLC N4R, DRAM is 64 MB. Endurance is 450 TBW, form factor M.2 2230 interface, 
PCIe Gen 4 times 4 NVMe 1. NVMe 1.4 uh, link M.2 PCIe Gen 4 times 4 NVMe firmware ELFM C10 5 year warranty $190 slash $190 so $93 per terabyte yeah you Steam Deck fans are always getting spoiled now <laughs> yeah and let's see here, what else, what else we got? Okay. Uh, next page, picture component. And... This, the drive is designed for high compact M.2 2230 form factor, making it 22 millimeters wide and only 30 millimeters long. And here's the S91 compared to a regular size M.2 2280 drive look how tiny it is <laughs> then it says <clears throat> PCIe gen PCIe P PCI Express 4.0 times 4 use has the host interface to the rest of the system double the th uh, theor theoretical bandwidth compared to PCIe 3.0 times 4 mm. on, on the PCB you'll find the SSD controller one flash chip, a DRAM cache is not available. And then chip component analysis. This is Fison PS5021 E21 in the Fison newest PCIe PCI Express controller. It it was it's a cost optimized model with four flash channels and support for TLC, QLC NAN. Fison has designed the E21 for a DRAM less operation and it supports the NVMe 1.4 protocol. The controller itself is fabricated using a 12 nanometer process at TSMC Type 1. And it says here the four flash chips are Micron 176 layer, 3D QLC NAN. Each chip has a capacity of 512 gigabytes. Mm. Yeah, you Steam Deck fans are getting spoiled. Okay, let's see here. Test SSD 2230. Processor Ad Lake. Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box. This, this new SSD. Oh yeah. You, that should, it should come. It should come in handy for you Steam Deck and ASUS fans. Yeah. So I will leave the link in the description box. Oh yeah. SSD for the Steam Deck. <laughs> so yeah, you Steam Deck fans are always what? Getting spoiled. <laughs> A new SSD. Less power consumption but better performance. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like someone said in the comment. What he said in the comment, he said, uh <laughs> he said only 3.2 watt, watt max power consumption for the 2 terabyte model. How is this possible? <laughs> yeah, so this should make your, uh, your performance with your gaming a lot more better. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. <laughs> nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek playing. Board, dark side. Go. Base.